Oh, look, this is the hotel. Oh, cool. My name's Eva Longoria. Um, I don't know if Tyler's gonna recognize me. I was on a show, Desperate Outsides. I'm an actress, I'm a producer, I'm a director, I'm a philanthropist. I have a lot of titles. <laughs> it's so good to meet oh, you. Oh my, my entire God. family and friends oh. are super fans. I recognize Eva Longoria from the show Desperate Housewives, and I was starstruck to say the least. Oh, I'm so wonderful to meet you. Nice to meet you, God. too. I'm so excited. Like I'm excited. I'm like overwhelmed, so I'm gonna try to get through this as best I can. Do you feel people here? I do. I already have a lot popping in, so I'm excited. Yay! To... <laughs> they are banging down the door. Oh. I have a lot of energy, so. Ah! I'm so excited. I'm so excited because I'm a big fan of Tyler's, and I watch the show, and so I know how it works. I know the objects. I know the photos go upside down. I know that he just feels your energy, and he tunes everything out, and he draws. So I'm, I'm a big, big fan of Tyler's. I'm just gonna kind of tune in, see okay. where we go, and then I'll, I'll touch on some objects you've brought me, mm -hmm. um, and we'll go from there. So okay. I'm just gonna kind of scribble really quickly, okay, um, and then we'll jump into the objects, and mm -hmm. we'll just see what pops in. So great. Okay. So I've got you, 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 mom's side. Okay. You. Okay. So I have your mom's side of family. Good. Do you know much about that side of family? Yes. Okay. Awesome. Uh -huh. um, there's a lot of women that are all very loud and very expressive, <laughs> and they all come through. My family's all women. So. Oh. Nice, okay. That's probably where you're getting a lot of women. That makes sense. It's like a big party, isn't it? <laughs> um, the people coming through, if they're my family, they're very loud. I love it. No. So I'm sure they're like, move. It's so funny the way this is coming through, because actually, I feel like I have to touch that center, middle, like the front object there. Okay. So, you don't mind. This awesome. thing? Yes, that's the one. <laughs> this is where I have to go. So I'm going to kind of connect with this, and okay. we'll go from there. The objects I brought today is just from somebody I miss. I just would like to say hi. <laughs> Thank you. Where's the two sisters who would have been older on your mom's side of family? <laughs> they're like, they're like coming through as yes. one unit, but they're super yes. close. And they're yes. having me kind of bring that up. Um, but that's where I'm kind of going with it. And it's yes, like, that's um, them. yeah, very, very close in the way this comes <laughs> through. The one with the E initial is coming through much more strongly, so I have to connect to her. Well, we're, we're all E's. Oh. <laughs> well, that makes it challenging. So my family is like Edna, Elsa, Elda, Emide, um, Ella, uh, Elda, Elvia, Elma, Eva, Emily, Elizabeth, Esmeralda, Enrique, Eloy. <laughs> like, that's... Please. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so when you're like, somebody with an E, I'm like, uh -oh. that doesn't narrow it down. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> wow. So I'm like, oh no, it's going to be so hard. Right. Oh my gosh. But I'm sure they both would come through because they were close. Oh, and yeah. Elsa and Edna. And that's Aunt Elsa's purse. I love it. Yes. <laughs> and um, we were, I was closest to her. Right. And so she taught me so much in my life. And I just want to make sure she's, yeah. she's happy and good. Absolutely. The way this comes through is it's interesting because she gives me this feeling of living vicariously through you. She sees in herself when she looks back, like in hindsight. Yeah. Um, and I'm sure, I'm sure, you know, different times, generationally, mm -hmm. yeah. women didn't have as many opportunities. But yes. there's this feeling of like on her end, actually, <laughs> Though she was older, having this in her herself, and it's yeah, interesting. she was a trailblazer in our family. She was like a professional working woman, single, raised my mom, and so I've always tried to emulate her right. in my life. Like she's just been my role model. Right. No, mm -hmm. for sure. The feeling is like this is something that just because she physically passed away, she wanted this to be continued on in yeah. that legacy, and and even beyond that. I mean, you've been able to fulfill so much. Mm -hmm. So she really seems to be happy about that oh, in that sense. Good. Um, well, let me see what this is really quick. I've got that, that, and the other. Okay. Um, just good to keep in mind, unfortunately, she's showing me all these recipes, and I'm seeing this as being, funny enough, handwritten. Yes. And there's a feeling of passing these down, as they often will, mm -hmm. but there's also an acknowledgement of losing <laughs> a bunch of these. Yes. And there's basically this feeling of, like, what the hell did these go? And it's like, I can't find them, and they yes. have a lot of sentimental value. Yes. But she's coming through and acknowledging losing these papers. Or yes. Losing, you know. She hand wrote all of her recipes, and Elsa's the one that taught me how to cook. And when she passed, we couldn't find the tamale recipe. Right. 
and all the sisters were fighting about, no, she used to put this, no, oh, she used to put this. Wow, that's amazing. Well, please know that also, because this is something that she enjoyed so much, yeah. the fact that these recipes continue on, that they're mm -hmm. still made, it, it for her, represents so much more than just the fact that her recipes are still being used. Yeah. For her, it represents that she still remembers yes. this there as well. So that's why. Mm -hmm. that's Absolutely. Awesome. We knew when we were cooking tamales one Christmas and everybody was fighting about what Ann Elsa would put in there. No, she put cumin, no, she put this. Uh, we knew she was with us that day yelling at us. We were like, she's here and she's really mad. Like we all just knew that she was there going, why didn't anybody write down the recipe? <laughs> so when the recipe thing came through, I was like, yep, that's, that's definitely my Ann Elsa. Thank you. She's having me acknowledge physical separation at the time of passing away. Mm -hmm. So there's a feeling of like, when I die, I'm not able to have someone physically here right by my side. Mm -hmm. And there's almost questions of like, I wish I would have gotten here quicker, or I wish I could have, mm -hmm. it's almost like the rush. Yeah. My aunt Elsa was a smoker wow. almost her whole life, but then she stopped at 50 right. and then got lung cancer at 75. Oh. Yeah, as she was dying of cancer in the hospital, my mom was with my Aunt Elsa the whole time and then like left to go change or something. Right. And then she passed. But this woman wanted it to go that way. Uh, she actually timed it. And people have said even like, okay, do you think maybe she could have like intentionally passed? She yeah. willed herself to go mm. when the feeling is like when this person leaves or mm. when they're away. And it's because she would not have wanted this to be seen and yeah. she wouldn't want people to see her passing. So like really relay that message. She timed her passing oh, to not want her to have to, to see that. To not be there. Yeah, and mm. that's not a bad thing. Oh, she'll be happy. Because my aunt Elsa raised my mom, right. and so she felt very, very close. It was like a mother to, her, to my mother. Um, and so she just misses her. My mom's the baby, so right. my mom was the young one. And she really, you know, misses Aunt Elsa. You know what? It was more important for my mom to hear this and to get validated like this. For me, it was just so nice to reconnect with them today and to let my mom know that um, everything's good and they're happy and they're with her. Thank you so course, much. Absolutely. That was amazing. Oh, thank you. Thank you oh, so, so much. It's been amazing. I'm like what in shock. <laughs> fun stuff. I'm leaving a little lighter. You always want to talk to the loved ones in your life. So to not be able to talk to those people on a daily basis is, is sad. So to be able to talk to them today was special. And so they're gonna be in my mind for, for a long time. Oh my gosh. Thank, Thank you so much. much. Nice Have a to meet you. Thank, Thank you. you. Bye. Bye. Tyler's so sweet and sensitive and he feels more than a medium or a clairvoyant. He feels like a healer. It was amazing. It was awesome. I have to call my mom. I mean, there are so many questions that I have to answer. Mm -hmm.